Hawthorne Center is helping folks rebound during this economic crisis. Anything from finding housing, financial assistance after perhaps losing a job and simply addressing those basic needs so many people can, can't can meet right now. Yeah, and so rtv 6 says Stephanie Wade speaks with a client who shares how that organization has helped her, especially during this time. Nakia Thomas was staying at a shelter when she first learned of the Hawthorne Community Center. She has five children, four under the age of 18, and at the time she was searching for daycare, but it didn't stop there. I don't even have the word to express how much they have came, you know, through for me or done for me, you know. Just simple things that, you know, it might not seem like a lot, but when you don't have it, it's a lot. From early childhood to before and after school programming for children, to employment help, budgeting, and financial literacy. It's almost like a life coach. That's what I look at, look at Jaba as the life coach. She helped me in places, resources, everything to help with, to better my life. Thomas works as a certified nursing assistant. She actually had to quarantine herself for 14 days and couldn't work. So Hawthorne helped her with rent. That's a really good burden to take off of someone who's trying, not just sitting at home, want to collect. There's always a traditional need for these basic need services, but the increase, you know, has been really almost exponential, you know, just looking at the weekly calls that we're getting. Because of the pandemic, the executive director says they've had to build emergency response teams focused on food and housing for people who were impacted on top of their regular clients. A large majority of the community don't, don't have the financial assets to really weather any kind of economic hardships. Working with up to 600 people people a week. Thomas is a testament in her words of how Hawthorne is lifting people up who really need it in the community. I just want to tell everybody to go check them out. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. Stephanie, thank you for that. Now to get in touch with Hawthorne Community Center, we have much more information. It's all at our website as well as a number of other resources that you can take advantage of.